welcome to the Weekend Zone. I'm Britt Johnson. You guys can follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. It's your boy Chris. You can find me everywhere at CK2K. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Jackie Ray. You can follow me everywhere at JRay the Fanatic. Mm. All right, so I know everybody has a lot of stuff to do this weekend. Sports is back, so we're going to yes. just get through this thing today so we can continue on on our day. So, um, <laughs> first off, Basketball is back, and CP3 could not be more excited. He was actually brought to tears by everything that's come together in the bubble. Chris, are you surprised that the NBA was able to get everything done? Uh, I'm surprised that, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised it went as smooth as it has been going. I, I expected there's going to be some kind of hiccups along the way, and I feel like there were, but they weren't even that big. So, yeah, I'm very surprised that it, it turned out to be what it is. Like, I think the NBA did a very good job with it, and I think that's the reason why they're talking about possibly doing one next year, even though we all agree that they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. But I think mm -hmm. because they did so well with it that, you know, they're like, oh, why, if it ain't broke, let's not fix it kind of thing. But, yeah, I'm very surprised, and I'm ha happily surprised. Yeah. Um, so moving on to um, football. <laughs> um, <laughs> Chad Ochocinco apparently was, I don't know if this is cheating or what, but he said that when he, he was playing football, he was actually playing with not two legs, but three legs because he was taking Viagra before yep. every game, if you guys know what I mean. Jackie, does this explain why he was this anomaly and this great wide receiver that he was? Not to me, because I'm confused, because I think if you take that, isn't it like you have a cup on, so isn't that like mad That's uncomfortable? No Chris, no I'm asking you, no, isn't that, that mad out of uncomfortable? This. Keep me out <laughs> I, of this. I couldn't even put the two together. I don't know what sense that makes. I, don't keep me out of this. Try. Unless the pain, there are people who get off on pain, so maybe the pain of the, you know, just made him work harder. No, Chris, he help me. On three legs. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. The at hell all. Like, okay. But I don't did like you that ever? At did, all. did anyone ever notice the third leg? Because I didn't. And so I didn't. So I can tell you, I was safely so, not so, looking. This, this is one of those things you keep to yourself because I did not notice this. A small third leg. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing. See, I wasn't trying to say nothing, but say oh, less. oh no. Say oh, less. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, oh, I think God. I'm done with honorable mentions. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm over it. I am done. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, well, luckily we're going to stay in football for the first athlete trash talk that we have. Um, we kind of we actually talked about this uh, a little bit this week, but it has to go back with Jamal Adams and Le'Veon Bell, who were once teammates, but once Jamal Adams was traded to the um, Seattle Seahawks, uh, Le'Veon Bell was very hurt and very upset that he had some things to say to Jamal Adams after his trade. Uh, Le'Veon Bell tweeted out, people do all this hooting and hollering to get you brought in just to leave. LOL, like people weird, yo. The internet go, the internet got these dudes going whatever for, jeez, dudes doing whatever for attention. Oh boy. Even when, even when they tell you that they don't believe themselves. Now, this was just tweeted out, wasn't adding nobody, but it seemed pretty clear who he was talking about because it was known that, you know, Jamal Adams had Le'Veon on the, on the phone uh, prior to him deciding to sign with the Jets. But um, all that being said, uh, Jamal Adams saw that tweet, responded to it, and he just said, simply noted, I'll see you week 14. But Le'Veon Bell wasn't done. He was very upset about it. He's like, noted? What? <laughs> LOL, what you lied? <laughs> what? Uh, LOL, that you lied? Please trust that it is noted then. Mm. And if I'm supposed to take see you in week 14 as a threat, I don't. But it's still all love. And like I told you on the phone, I want the best for you. If this is the best for you, I want it for you, bro. He just sounds like a heartbroken girlfriend. Like, yes. I'm just the whole thing with my hand on my hip. Oh, right. noted. Okay, I got <laughs> right. you. See you week 14, man. Yep. Like, right. oh, hey. that's your new boo. She cute or whatever. Right. Right. Crazy. And it's crazy when you can feel that emotion from a tweet. Like, that's how you know that he went in. Caps in yep. the right places, the quotes in the right I, places. Like, you I felt that. I feel you, though, Le'Veon. I wouldn't want to be stuck in Not New by York, yourself. That's by Not myself. There. No. Not I'd be there. like, Britt, really? You left me here? <laughs> I thought you were so cool. <laughs> I'll <doubt> it. <laughs> 
Anyways, we also yeah. talked about this next one. We were talking about um, how we read it one way, but the internet read it another way. And actually, um, WNBA star Ariel Powers read it one way as well. It came down to uh, Andre Godala, who was he was showing love, I think, um, initially when he saw that Ariel Powers was going off on her game um, in the WNBA bubble. She plays for the uh, Mystics. And Audrey Iguodala simply tweeted out, number 23 for the Mystics is nice. Now, a lot of people took this the wrong way, like, you're lazy because he should be, he should know her name or at least look up the name, you know, if, if you're going to have support for the WNBA and rah, rah, rah. Us three on the panel thought otherwise. But Ariel Powers is one of those people that took uh, – Took this as a little bit of disrespect for not knowing her name. She responded to Andre Godala saying, put some respect on my name or keep this tweet to yourself. Damn. Well, then Andre Godala's response was a little bit closed because this one was hard for me too. Like I could see how it would be one way, but it also, I could see how she saw it the way that she saw it. But he simply responded with dot, 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 no manners. Now you can see that he's talking about like, damn, I ain't got no manners or he's trying to talk a little up, he's saying like, you ain't got no manners. I'm trying to give you a compliment. People chose to see it as the second one. Ariel Powers was one to see it as the second one. Now, um, she went in, she uh, shared a, pic, uh, a TMZ story from way back when uh, about Andre Godala saying that he doesn't want his daughter to play in the WNBA because she doesn't want her to be a lesbian, but then clarified later on that that wasn't what he meant, blah, blah, blah. But Ariel Powers went on a rampage page uh just responding to tweet after tweet I, I we would literally be here for another 30 minutes if i sat here and read all the tweets but literally they were all in the same breath where there were people who felt the the other way like i said with andre godala's tweets thinking it was disrespectful and she was going in responding to all of those tweets like i said i'm not gonna waste my time with this and i think we talked about this um <laughs> on the live show not too long ago but i think we're all in agreement do, do, do we believe that I, she is going a little crazy with this one or do you I, think, I think we're gonna talk about it again Chris because okay. yesterday <laughs> Mr. Kevin Durant said number 14 is a different breed. He sure did. Another WNBA player. So yeah. I, I think I don't know if this is something the NBA players are just like okay Andre I, I'm gonna say that too and we're just right. gonna start a train and just say numbers. I don't know what, what's going on but uh but we in 54321 are gonna have something about yeah. Kevin Durant. Right and, but that's the thing because we were saying that like if this the shoe was on the other foot we would be calling Andre Godal ah. soft mm -hmm. if somebody right. said number nine yeah. and not said his name. But that's the thing for what you just said Kevin Durant was talking about Brandon Ingram but he called him 14. So this is the mm -hmm. same breath just for an NBA player but no one's coming at uh, right. Kevin Durant for that because they know I don't know. Yeah, this whole thing to me. If it wasn't for copyright infringement, I'd have us play Destiny's Child, say my name, say my name through this whole thing, because this is just petty. It's just yeah, all the time so petty, but that's it for me on the trash talk. Take it away. Uh, okay, so are you guys ready for these baby claps? We're getting better. You guys are okay. getting right. just a little bit. But here's the thing. I think once we actually, we're back to sports, guys. Just fun fact, the fumble, we cover sports. There hasn't been a lot of sports, but we're getting back to sports. I think some of you guys are, you know, not going to have enough to clap about. But this first one says, so y'all must be bored because this reporting was trash. Um, so, yes, yeah. we have been bored, actually. There's no Very bored, actually, if you, if you were going to be honest about it. This one says 1.3 million subs and only 563 views in four hours. Damn, y'all fumbled. I like to play on I words on that one. Like five, three million. Mr. Yeah, he, yeah, he's kidding. But I like to play on words I'm sorry, on this yeah, one. Yeah, I like that, that one. Was, that one was okay. I like that one. That one was I, I'm okay. gonna get that one. The, he, good use of our name. Yeah. That, that's a good hit. He, he got said that, our that name. One, that was a good hit. Said our good name. Hit. So I'm good. okay with this one. <laughs> I'll give him that one. All right, I see. You. I see. You. So that one's the, he 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 gets yeah. an award. First so he time gets in like a, five weeks. He gets weeks. a baby clap, right? <laughs> like right, you did the right. thing. You did the thing. All right. So then this one says this channel used to hit different, and then he got four replies on that, and then the someone else responded with change y'all name to the LeBron because that's all you guys talk about. I feel like they must just tune in when I'm talking because yeah, I'm the only one that just much. goes in on LeBron I, all I the don't time. I care about LeBron. Right. Which I, I is, was which is say, odd. Oh. I do though. So feel free to call me whatever on on the LeBron videos. I'm okay with it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah he, he would love for this channel to be called just the LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> she would love that actually. You're not. That's not a diss to her. Yeah, that one's whack. <laughs> good try though. Yay. We got one Baby good clap. one though. Say. So, hey, all right. Baby clap. Yeah. Baby clap. Yay. Yeah. We got one good one. All right. <laughs> 
Cool. That's cool. all I got. <laughs> all right. So before we get out of here, let's do our L's of the week. My L is going to go to the MLB because they suspended Joe Kelly, but decided not to suspend the Astros players who cheated in the first place or take away that World Series championship, which now has actually caused this whole problem in the first place. Yep. Mm, yeah, this is a very strong L. My L goes to the New Orleans Pelicans for giving up a 16-point lead to then lose by two, but in a fashion where nobody understands because I feel like everyone on Twitter was feeling the same way, where Zion was on this random minute restriction that nobody can put their finger on because we don't know what it was. He didn't leave the bubble with the injury. We know he left for personal reasons, but does that mean he came back out of shape? Why do you keep coddling Zion Williamson? I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, that's why John Morant going to be rookie of the year this year. But yeah, my L goes to the Pelicans for dropping the bag, for fumbling that game. See, I can do uh -huh, it. I can do it there. too, see? Well, there we go. I got to tell you, I'm on the John Morant now train. You know, I was on, I'm, I, I've changed Come train. Welcome. I, 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 thank you. Thank you for welcoming welcome. me. Yes, I appreciate yes, yes. it. <laughs> All right. So look, my L is going to go to the LeBron haters, AKA that clap guy. Um, but mine is going to the LeBron haters for thinking that he is responsible for all things that need a social justice warrior in the world, like China. It's not his responsibility. He's not the social justice ATM. Stand down. He's just LeBron. <laughs> All right, well, that is going to do it for the weekend. Don't thank you guys so much for tuning in. Get back to sports and have a yes. good day. We'll see you guys next week, and we'll see you on Monday for the Fumble Live at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Peace. Peace.